Hey, hey, what's up? Welcome to another episode with the Good Deal Guy. If you've been following the channel, you know we promote cameras and we promote all the smart gadgets. I want to show you guys something really cool about the Tapo wireless cameras. Like, I think the reason most people buy a camera to check on their home or check on the business or check on the cars, just to see what's going on, right? So you want a camera that actually notifies you right away. But at the same time, what I really like about TP-Link, you can customize everything. So you can customize the notifications, you can customize the sound, you can customize the time. So basically you can customize when they go off or when they don't go off, or when your phone beeps and when your don't phone beeps. It makes a big difference. Like, so when I'm home, I don't want my cameras to go off every five seconds. But when I'm not home, I have them on notification. But let's dive in real quick. I'm going to show you guys. And please do me a favor. If this is your first time in the channel, hit subscribe so you can see all my newer videos. So let's dive in real quick. This is my Tapo C420S2 for my front door. Let's dive in quick. Now we're going to go here to settings. I'll move this so you guys can see. So you have different detections on top. I'm going to touch it real quick and jump in. So you have the first one here, guys, motion detection. I can turn them off or I can turn them on. So the motion detection basically lets you know if there's anything. It could be a paper bag. It could be a bird going by. It could be a car. It could be anything, right? You can also set the sensitivity. How sensitive do you want it to be? You know, like even that little tree in the front, it moves a little bit, my phone goes off. I want to know the minute there is anything in my driveway or my property, right? That's the reason I got the cameras. I normally put this on five. Because I really don't want it to go off every five seconds. There's a little bird going by or whatever. So I put it on five. You can try it and you can see which one works better for you, right? Now, this is something really cool. This is the activity zone. Again. I'm going to show you guys real quick. I can move this here. So see how that driveway starts in the corner there? I don't want my camera to go off every time somebody walks their dogs. I don't care. Or every time there's a car pass by. I don't care. I don't want my phone beeps for that, right? But what I do care is the minute somebody comes to my driveway or my property. So that's my front door. That's the little garage there. So what I'll do, I put this like this. So, anytime somebody enters this green area, my phone beeps. Okay? Now, let's go back. Actually, let me save this. Boom. Okay. Now, we go back one more time. You have the person detection here. Let's check this one out. Sensitivity. This is actually an only one, which is the lowest. And the minute I pull in my driveway and I get out of my car, it goes off. So... You can put them on five, you can put them on 10. They're amazing, they are just amazing. The minute somebody comes, I can see my Amazon guy comes, or when the wife gets home, or if you have kids and you wanna check when the kids, kids get home. Okay, again, you can go here to your activity zone. And I set them up the same exact way. Now, if you wanna do it differently, you can. So let's say, I don't want anybody mess with my cars. So what I do, I set them up like this. And I can set them up like this. You can do whatever you want, right? So the minute somebody comes in my driveway and the minute somebody goes to touch the cars, it will go off. All right, so let's save this and let's go back. Also, there's a pet detection. You know, this is kind of funny because I have a small dog and sometimes he gets out from the backyard. I don't know, he dug a hole or something. I don't know what happens. But the minute my dog actually get out and he gets in the front, I know there's a dog in my driveway. And I know it's my dog, so I'll go get him real quick. Because I don't want my dog, obviously, to run away. Because sometimes he just goes around the corner and he comes to the front door and barks. And sometimes he just wanders off to see what's going on with the neighbor's dog. So, this is really cool. If you have cats or dogs and you don't want them to run away, you can actually see the minute they get out. Kind of cool. You can do the same thing. There's sensitivity and then there's the activity zone. So you can, what I did, actually, I'm going to put this here all the way down and all the way down here. So I can see if there's uh, the minute my dog gets to my front door, I can see. All right. 
perfect now go back and then obviously this last one is the vehicle detection it's the same idea you can move this anywhere you want again i don't want the i don't want my phone to go off every five seconds when the other cars pass by or neighbors get home or whatever so i just put it like this so the minute a car pulls up in my driveway like this i can see if there's a car coming right perfect and again you can check the sensitivity here all right go back so i have different zones you can do them all the same way doesn't really matter it's customizable you can do whatever you want so let's go back one more time so there's another thing you can do here there's a spotlight a spotlight on your camera so at night time you can change the brightness so actually when somebody comes and it's dark the spotlight comes on really cool and then also one last thing you have an alarm here I can leave it on or I can leave it off so basically this is great if you don't want somebody comes to your house or some people have a back backyard and then you have your shed you have your tools you have your quad you have your toys so you can actually turn it on so the minute somebody actually comes into that zone the alarm goes off and it's fairly loud so it will let you know or if you're not home hopefully your neighbor is going to come and check it out another great feature this is what I really like about my Tapo cameras. Everything is customizable. You can customize. And then I'm going to show you this real quick too. One second. There's a notification. I'm going to go to notifications real quick, guys. There's activity type right here on the bottom. So you know how we had that motion detection, a person detection, and the vehicle detection. There's also a scheduling. This is what I really like. You can put, move this quick, always, during the day, during the night, or a custom time. So you know some people work uh, shift work. So maybe three days a week you work nights, three days, a week, three days a week you work mornings. You can schedule these notifications according to your schedule. Okay? You can, I like to leave it on all the time, so it records and everything. But that's up to you. That's a great feature to have. And we go back this is actually really cool so let me know guys if you have any questions about tp link cameras please leave a leave a comment and i'll try to get back to you and if you this is your first time you decide to buy a camera they totally worth it i'm gonna leave you guys the link this is the same exact camera from my house and i normally suggest the same cameras to my friends like i have a lot of my friends i have a lot of my clients like oh somebody broke into my car or somebody came to my business and they stole something or i mean stuff happens right I suggest you buy the same cameras I have because they have so many cool features and they offer you everything you ever need from a smart camera. So let me know what you think. If this video helped you set up your camera, guys, make sure you hit the subscribe to support my channel and thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.